and all of this nonsense that, oh, it's not about the national anthem. It's not about the military. It's not about patriotism to America. You, you tell that to Colin what? Kaepernick, who started this thing, because according to him, on every occasion he's been asked about it, it is about it the is anthem. About that. Yes. And and, I, and, I'm, and I'm tired of hearing that Colin doesn't, uh, you know, nobody has afforded him uh, an opportunity to play football. Oh, uh, they have. And part of the deal was is that he wouldn't kneel, come and try out, but if you make the team, you can't kneel. Wasn't acceptable to him. Nope. Okay. No. Well, yeah. Great. No problem. Right. Stop, stop complaining that you can't get a job then. And yet we continue to hear that it's NFL football team's fault that he's not playing right. somewhere. Right. It's not. It's not their fault. And even if... Even if they're, uh, he is talented enough, he'd make a good backup, even if that's true. And I'm not convinced it is. But, but. but let's say it is. Let's say he's the greatest backup in the uh, quarterback in the NFL, and if he started, he could take you to the Super Bowl, like uh, Foles did last year for the Eagles. Well, there's still the problem of bringing all of that controversy. Right, to the to, locker room. To the locker room, to your football team, and to the fan base who's going to hate it. And it's going to hurt your bottom line. So in the interest of your business, you decide it's not worth it. Even though he's a good quarterback, it's not worth it. And I'm not going to hire him. How, how does that not make sense uh, to all these players in the NFL? I, I don't have, get it. I don't know. And all I these sportscasters, sportscasters are all going crazy over it too. When they, when they suggested the 15-yard penalty, they all went nuts because they're all progressives. All these That's sportscasters amazing. on ES, ESPN and... Fox Sports and and yeah, Sports Illustrated, they're all progressive. Well, they, and, you know, and those guys all want the interviews, right? At the, uh, yeah, they, they want to be able to yes. go in the locker room and they want to be able to talk to Colin. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So as it is, what is probably going to happen is that the NFL Players Association will just stop this. Yes. And we'll have the kneeling thing again. And it'll probably be bigger than it's ever been. It, it, it's really too bad because... You know, I, I love football. I like the NFL. like watching the games. I love the Green Bay Packers. Just don't ram it down with you. I just yeah, want to I watch just, football, please. I don't uh, give us a place of refuge. It's interesting to me that they don't understand that. It is. It is It is interesting that they... that Hard to believe. They, don't, they haven't been at least shown a path of, look... When you guys play the game, we have this many viewers. We sell this many shirts. We sell this much at the stadiums. This is what we make. But, mm -hmm. You know, a rough draft. This doesn't have to be exact, but just rough drafts. When you kneel, we only sell this much. Mm -hmm. Now, the difference is what we're going to be paying you. Plus, you have the evidence last year of uh, the decrease in ratings, which we don't know if you can attribute it all to that. No, I mean, they've spread themselves thin, thinner, too, across all platforms. They have. So. They have, but still. Ratings were down, and maybe that uh, that was a part of it. Maybe that was a part of why, and you've got that evidence to present to the Players Association and say, look, we're not going to lose our fans. No. Stop it.